Hello Libra, this is High Priestess Jamila here to do your um, timeless major issues and problems and what to do tarot and psychic reading, okay? <laughs> I know that was a mouthful anyway. Welcome to the channel, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button and uh, if you guys need a private reading or consultation with me for spell work, uh, you can just go to my Etsy page and purchase your reading there with either your credit debit or PayPal. Or you can also cash at me at dollar sign psychic Jamila. Uh, all of the information is below, other contact information. Half hour readings are 40 and full hour readings are 80. Now this particular reading can be purchased and requested as a video reading. A phone reading or a video messenger reading like a live video messenger reading so you just want to specify and it is priced a little bit higher but it's because you know this spread is going to be involving people that have some pretty major issues maybe even some major spirits around them uh, just to let you guys know this reading more than likely is going to be negative doesn't mean that the outcome has to necessarily be negative but this is a spread that is for people that are having some sort of problem or issue okay <laughs> all right so we're gonna call to um <clears throat> oh also another thing guys um i created this spread myself so i'm pretty proud of myself okay this is a 14 card spread but this is a general reading so you'll get more information out of a private reading um, also, if this reading doesn't resonate for you, you can go look at your rising sign. Alright, we're going to call the St. Michael for protection. Spirit guides, ancestors, guardian angels, ascended masters. For the Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, what messages do you have for Libra? About a major issue that they are facing. Okay, what are you seeing as a problem or problems? What does Libra want or plan to do about the issue? What should Libra do? What action should Libra take? What is Libra going to do? And what are you seeing? What action are you seeing Libra take? and final outcome and our advice cards okay thank you okay so we got the answer here let me just make sure these are in alignment i've got to kind of condense or mush the spread together because there's not a lot of space here but you guys understand. Let me move that up a little bit. And um, okay. <clears throat> all right, we can get started. So first of all, what I can see is definitely either love triangle or either some kind of social issue that's keeping you a little um, isolated okay but definitely love triangle involving either an air sign or an earth sign in particular a Virgo having a major impact Three of Swords uh, lets me know that a lot of you guys uh, have been sort of depressed, maybe a little sad, maybe a little unsettled, maybe a little intranquil um, about the situation. I feel like this person is pulled away from you or either, you know, decided to be with the other person. Um, does it necessarily have to be a third party? Yeah, because the third party usually is self. If it's not another person, it can be the other person's self. Maybe they're just taking some time to themselves. Definitely can see 
uh, right now there's a relationship break, okay? Taking a break in, in whatever relationship you're dealing with now. What you are planning to do about it, the Queen of Swords comes up reverse and then the Eight of Coins comes up reverse. So I feel like a lot of you guys are plotting some kind of revenge. Revenge for what? That's not going to make the situation better. The reason why you guys are having problems is because there's definitely some things that need to be worked on. So that's the wrong thing to do if that's what you're planning. I think that it's because of possible insecurities as to why you would be plotting revenge on that person. Because with the Eight of Coins in the reverse position, this is where definitely some action that you plan on taking is not going to serve you. It's not, okay? Um, now, the cards that represent... Uh, oh, goodness gracious. I'm trying to... Okay. The cards that represent what spirits feel that you should do. Okay, first of all, um, I feel like the king of just these two cards together is saying don't, definitely do not do something that is going to throw you off energetically, is going to throw off the energy around you, is going to somehow mess with your stability because I feel like just recently, you've had so many good things happening for yourself, Libra, and you just want to stay ahead of that. You just, Spirits is definitely saying don't get involved with doing anything like that. Now, the Queen of Wands is upright, and then the Ten of Coins is in the upright position. So, they are saying to turn the situation around to a positive one. There seems to be some sort of money opportunity or some sort of change that's coming. But it can be blocked by your actions or either the good things that are happening, you won't be enjoying them because, you know, you'll have something on your mind. And I feel like Queen of Wands is saying... You know, be the bigger person. She's also saying to save your energy for yourself for the good things that you want and that it's not worth it. She's also saying get your revenge by making it because I feel like it's a possibility that this person could have possibly either interfered with some sort of work project or maybe interfered with some money or maybe even possibly took some money, okay? So it depends on, you know, which one of you, you know, what the situation is, okay? Now, the action that spirits can see you taking. Five of Swords upright, the Faith card upright, and then the Knight of Coins. I feel that you should deal with the conflict as, as like inner conflict. You don't really have a lot of... The conflict that you have mainly is within yourself. And I feel like you're going to go and possibly start some conflict. I feel like you should try to settle the conflict but then protect yourself this is pointing to what you are going to do I'm going to do some clarifiers definitely I feel that a lot of you are going to make the mistake by allowing yourself to be creatively blocked and that's something that's going to come back and bite you in the butt. You're not going to 
trust me, I speak from personal experience. Spirit, clarify five of swords, please. Faith card and the knight of coins, please. Thank you. Yeah, I feel that the knight of coins is saying, you know, keep <clears throat> keep your sanctuary, keep your security. Uh, the best revenge is being happy. The rest of that stuff, you know, now I feel that you should take a lot of that and apply it to something that you're trying to grow, whether or not it's a business, whether or not it's yourself. Um, definitely be careful how you feed that situation to where it'll make it more negative to where you will, it'll mess with your money, it'll mess with your finances. Okay, so, you know, just be careful what you wish for and be careful with the actions that you're taking um, on the situation. And then also I feel that some of you Libras could possibly find out that you're pregnant. So if this is a situation with somebody that you're having a child by, you really don't want to create any more bad blood between the two of you. Okay, you want things to be as positive as possible, if it's possible, if that person is one of them types of people that just makes every situation negative, then you know what to do, okay? So the final outcome, these three cards represent the final outcome. I'm going to push these up a little bit. <clears throat> You got the Knight of Cups upright, the Tower is reversed, and then the Page of Swords. So I see your ship rolling in, but what I feel this Spirit is saying is that loose lips sink ships. Okay? So, now the tower in the reverse position does represent something that's supposed to change for the better, but it's being prevented somehow. So, we're going to clarify these two cards right here. Clarify Knight of Cups, please. What message does the Knight of Cups bring? Okay. So it looks like there's a water sign that you probably need to go ahead and uh, part ways with. Just kind of let whatever it is go. If there's a beef, if there's some sort of war, you need to take a break from it. Uh, let's clarify the tower. Hmm. Clarify queen of coins. Mm-hmm. Queen of Coins is an earth sign individual. This is either a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn that seems to be manipulating your reality. Okay? So be careful with that. And I feel as though there's supposed to be some kind of recognition <clears throat> There's supposed to be some kind of success. That's what it represents. But I feel as though this situation, whatever it is, you're supposed to separate from it. And it's going to create some disastrous effects if you don't. And I feel like the Six of Wands also represents discipline. So you're going to have to discipline yourself. Now, this Page of Swords, I felt like I could hear the Page of Swords saying, Loose lips sink ships. So, uh, spirits, give me some clarity on the page of swords, please. Yeah, close that door to whatever that is and let that go because as soon as you do that, then there's going to be the change that you want and then also you have to be the change that you want. But um, I do feel like Give me some clarity on this death card, spirits. Oh, major arcana of the strength. <clears throat> uh, 
yeah, you guys seem to, you know, I, I feel like it does have something to do with you maybe needing to start to maybe possibly keep things to yourself or maybe the death card can represent protection. The death card can represent, you know, invisibility. Um, strength represents oh yeah definitely not allowing a situation to cause you to be violent don't threaten anybody because that can be used against you and you need to just pretty much stay away from whatever that situation is with either that water sign or that earth sign which the water sign could be cancer scorpio or pisces <clears throat> definitely feel like some of you are dealing with a fire sign though very domineering and feel like one thing that i can see in this reading is that spirits are saying is that the strength is going to come from your mind okay and then also the strength card can represent manifesting something uh being uh being very uh what do you call that confident you know being very sure of yourself okay we're gonna throw a couple of oracle cards for you guys a couple of the witches wisdom oracle spirit guides to close this reading out what messages do you have for libra for this timeless reading from the witches tarot okay so yeah you guys so that you know what that means okay we're gonna go over it you got the um broomstick card the ancestors card and the cleansing card the water card and but it's reversed so definitely i would recommend the cleanse but we are going to look and see what these cards mean uh the clearance card can represent uncrossing yourself okay the broomstick card um but let's look at this so stale energies what this means stale energies are preventing you from receiving and moving forward could mean that it's time for spring cleaning only keep around you that which makes you feel positive meditate and pray to clear your mind clean up your act purify your thoughts and actions okay so um now it being in the reverse position could represent you guys you know kind of getting there but i feel like it's time to reorganize maybe do some cleaning maybe wash some floors and stuff uh you know uh, sweeping maybe sweeping the the you know the house sweeping the front porch you know things like that cleaning up okay now the next card that you got is the ancestors card in the upright position Okay, sorry, I'm looking for it in the book. It's kind of at the beginning of the book, and so it's kind of... <clears throat> okay, so the Ancestors card uh, means that you have a strong ancestral lineage, Libra. Um, never forget who's played a big part in your life, so give them some kind of recognition and remembrance. Um, light a candle in remembrance of the Ancestors. Uh, this can also represent someone from your past may turn up, okay? Past or past life. Resolving a past life issue is what this card can represent, okay? So that may be the answer to your question. Uh, clearing yourself too, and we'll get into this. You are being watched over by a deceased loved one okay is what this card means as well okay 
Um, now, this particular card, the cleansing card, or the water card in the reverse position means that many of you guys need cleanses. And you may need to clear yourself of definitely some past life stuff or either clear yourself of maybe bad energy uh, coming from family, stemming from family, stemming from, uh, you know, things that seem to be coming in from, you know, maybe experiences from the past. Let's look at this card. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, this means that you are empathic or empathetic. Your sensitivity is a gift, protected well, so you need protection. Um, you are experiencing new psychic awareness. Vivid dreams are linked with emotion to be kept in check. This card can represent needing to drink more water. Uh, spending time by the sea, cleansing. Uh, stop trying to go against the natural flow. Okay. Now, it's reversed. So, this definitely means that you need to do some clearing of yourself. Okay. Especially since you're empathic, you know, you tend to, you know, carry on the emotions of others. Okay. And be aware of the difference between your emotions and those of others. So, Water is what they are suggesting, drinking more water, bathing in water, but also cleanses, okay? Uh, the fire, fire cleanses, not saying to set yourself on fire, <laughs> that's not what we're saying, but, uh, you know, doing a candle cleanse. So if you guys need to know about that, you guys can reach me. Uh, that is going to conclude you guys' reading. Thank you so much for watching. Again, um, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up. Um, and if you guys want to reach me for a private reading or consultation, all of my links are below. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Love and light.